Hello, Core 2 friends. I wish I could be with you, but I'm happy that I get to talk to you this way. I'm sure it is just as weird for you to be seeing your teacher on a recording as it is for me to be recording a video for kids that I can't even see. But I thought that we would read one of our favorite books today to start off this week of um, virtual learning and seeing me do read alouds over video. And that book is Scaredy Squirrel. Um, I'm sure that many of your parents have heard you talking about these books. After we read this, the original Scaredy Squirrel, I went and ordered every single square, Scaredy Squirrel that exists because we were such a big fan of these books. So now maybe if your adults are watching with you, then they'll get to see one of our favorite books. Anyways, here is Scaredy Squirrel. I think that the pictures may show up backwards for you and I'm not sure how to fix that, but you've read this book so many times that you know what's happening. Scaredy Squirrel. Here's the story in a nutshell. I never leave my nut tree. It's way too dangerous out there. I could encounter germs, poison ivy, or sharks. If danger comes along, I'm prepared. I have antibacterial soap, band-aids, and a parachute. But things really get shaken up later in the book when I'm forced out of my tree by a vicious intruder. Will I survive this ordeal? Will I undergo a life-changing experience? Will I discover my true inner self? Read my nutty adventure to find out. Caution, this story is not suitable for green Martians. Warning, Scaredy Squirrel insists that everyone wash their hands with antibacterial soap before reading this book. How fitting. Scaredy Squirrel. Scaredy Squirrel never leaves his nut tree. He'd rather stay in a safe and familiar tree than risk venturing out into the unknown. The unknown can be a scary place for a squirrel. This is the unknown. A few things scaredy squirrel is afraid of. Tarantulas, poison ivy, green martians, killer bees, germs, and sharks. So he's perfectly happy to stay right where he is. Advantages of never leaving the nut tree. Great view, plenty of nuts, safe place, none of these things that he's scared of. Disadvantages of never leaving the nut tree. Same old view, same old nuts, same old place. In Scaredy Squirrel's nut tree, every day is the same. Everything is predictable and all is under control. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Scaredy Squirrel's daily routine. 6.45, wake up. 7 o'clock, eat a nut. 7.15, look at a view. 12 o'clock noon, eat a nut. 12.30, look at a view. 5 o'clock, eat a nut. 5.31, look at a view. 8 o'clock, go to sleep. But let's just say, for example, that something unexpected did happen. You can rest assured that this squirrel is prepared. A few items in Scaredy Squirrel's emergency kit. A parachute, bug spray, mask and rubber gloves, a hard hat, antibacterial soap, calamine lotion, a net, band-aid, and sardines. What to do in case of an emergency according to Scaredy Squirrel. Step one, panic. Step two, run. Step three, get kit. Step five, consult exit plan. Step six, exit tree. If there is absolutely, definitely, truly no other option.
And here is Scaredy Squirrel's exit plan. Exit one, which is up that way. Note to self, watch out for green Martians and killer bees in the sky. Exit two, note to self, do not land in river. If unavoidable, use sardines to distract the sharks. Exit three, look out for poison ivy and for tarantulas roaming the ground. Exit four, note to self, keep in mind that germs are everywhere. Remember, if all else fails, playing dead is always a good option. With his emergency kit in hand, Scaredy Squirrel watches. Day after day, he watches until one day, Thursday at 9.37 a.m. A killer bee appears. Scaredy Squirrel jumps in panic, knocking his emergency kit out of the tree. This was not a part of the plan. Scaredy Squirrel jumps to catch his kit. He quickly regrets this idea. The parachute is in the kit, but something incredible happens. He starts to glide. Scaredy Squirrel is no ordinary squirrel. He's a flying squirrel. He feels overjoyed, adventurous, carefree, alive. Scaredy Squirrel forgets all about the killer bee, not to mention the tarantulas, poison ivy, drink, green Martians, germs, and sharks until he lands in a bush. Score, 5.7. And plays dead. 30 minutes later, one hour later, two hours later, finally Scaredy Squirrel realizes that nothing horrible is happening in the unknown today. So he returns to his nut tree. All this excitement has inspired Scaredy Squirrel to make drastic changes in his life. Scaredy Squirrel's new and improved daily routine. 6.45, wake up. 7, eat a nut. 7.15, look at a view. 9.37 a.m., jump into the unknown. 9.45 a.m., play dead. 11.45 a.m., Return home. 12 o'clock, eat a nut. 12.30, look at a view. 5 o'clock, eat a nut. 5.31, look at a view. 8 o'clock, go to sleep. P.S. As for the emergency kit, Scaredy Squirrel is in no hurry to pick it up just yet. There it is in the poison ivy. The end. I hope you have enjoyed our favorite book, Scaredy Squirrel, today. And we have more books coming in the future, some from Miss Kelsey and some from me. I hope that your homeschool days are going well. I wish that I could be with you, but I'm happy that we get to communicate either way. And I will talk to you soon. Bye, friends.